quick check. Good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone's doing well today. Continuing off with our Stardew Valley save. So, we are about a, almost half of the way through summer. I always forget because, like, the way I have my desk angled, like, if my laptop is, like, fully opened, it blocks my TV. Don't eat the potato. I'm not- I don't really see the importance of shells, honestly. Like, I only really collect them to have them. Just in case you need them for a mission. Otherwise, like, I don't really see the point. So we should probably work on upgrading our axe. Oh, the pickaxe is being upgraded, huh? I don't see it in the inventory, so we can't go mining. Uh, I only play this save once a week, so like I totally forget where we're at. It's like I'm still playing my personal save. But I am playing a new game that I started yesterday that I might play on stream tomorrow, question mark? I'm honestly really liking it. But we'll see. Like, if anyone was there Friday, like, I got <laughs> really mad at Mario Kart because, like, I just get L after L. Like, I think I want to practice more before I do it on the stream again. Voice is really deep today. What's up? Ooh, that's weird. Okay, so I know we have to give one poppy for the community center. Probably sell the rest. Okay, so I only need one more iron bar. I used to, like, on my first save file that I ever played, I would, um, just try and farm as much copper as I could, and then try and get the iron bars with it, but then I realized, because coal is so scarce, that is kind of like you're wasting your coal because you're spending basically three coals when you could have only really used one. Okay, we have to get fiddlehead ferns while it's summertime. Plus the luau. Oh yeah, I forgot that. <laughs> I forgot that like we ended on that. Let's go ahead, finish this tree, get some fiddlehead ferns, hardwood, and then head to the beach. I wanted to fish today anyway. Oh, we can't get here yet. 
Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Oh yeah, we have potatoes. I don't. I can't remember what fruit did really well. I think my first save, I did hot peppers. That did, that was like eh, and then I did either corn or potatoes. I think and it was slightly better. I mean, I don't think you really unlock anything. You just get a different dialogue. If the mayor likes, or the governor likes the soup. I think this is just decorations here. Like here, I, I choose not to buy any decorations till I actually have time to like start decorating. Otherwise, like I'll just buy seeds for the holiday events. I could sap. <laughs> oh, that'd be oh, I could have done the sap. That would have been funny. Probably like icky if you put the sap in. Next year, we'll have to do that next year. Soup is an icky color though, it's like a gray almost. Those are locally grown potatoes, though. Yeah, I think it was corn that I used, not the potatoes that they loved. Next year we gotta do sap. We have to. Just to, like, insult them back. Oh, big axe ready. Nice. I read an article about you in the local paper. I'm so impressed with your progress on the farm. Keep this up and dear old dad might be retiring in Burn Island's luxury bungalow after all. What makes you think you're entitled to my money if I ever get rich? Yeah, I think that's kind of sus. I mean, not that I would- that I wouldn't, like, share my wealth, it's just, like... You shouldn't be giving all your money away to, like, your relatives and stuff. Because it's not like they earned it. I don't think I have enough money for... The steel upgrade because I think it's 10 grand. But I think we'll go pick up the axe and then just mine the rest of the day. Mine and then fish, probably. Or maybe since we're going towards the beach, we can just fish.
Let's go. Yeah. Oh, it's only five grand. Well, either way, we still need more iron. So let's probably mine the rest of the day. Oh yeah, because I think gold tools are 10 grand. Because it's 2,000, 5,000, and then 10,000, I believe. I could look it up, but you know, this cheating, so... <laughs> Friday. You could hand out gifts, but like I don't think this is important. Getting tools early on. So like giving out gifts takes literally the whole day. I'm so used to just like breaking every rock. But, like getting coal isn't too much of a concern right now. I know you can get a furnace to put wood, make coal, but then wood is a lot scarcer of a resource in the game. The only place that I found that you can like plant trees besides your farm is the quarry. So in my other file, I just planted hella. <laughs> Hello, seeds. Man, I need a better sword. This one's shit.
don't really need sap because that's always easy to get. Okay, we don't have that scroll yet, so that was a plus. I'm just looking for any more minerals right now. Slime's also easy to get to. I don't really- Ooh. Well that has to be placed before it's planted. I'm not gonna get those. I don't need them. There's like no minerals today. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, we got 12, so that that's fine. That's enough for now. I don't have a lot of copper either. Is, can we even craft the better sprinkler? Not yet, no. Okay, so I guess we'll just focus on trying to fill in this area with the base sprinklers first until we unlock the better ones. I forgot I have no energy. <laughs> So I think for now, we can focus on probably mining till the axe is done. And then focus on fishing, that way we can get some money. I'm just going to sleep because I don't want to use more of my food now. Okay, so I'm going to go with animal products worth more. Because I'm usually just going to put all my crops into preserve jars anyway. So I usually would go for the gatherer. But I think for this save I kind of want to try forester because like... As I said before, wood is wood is very scarce. 
And the forage items, you usually just use them for mixed seeds, for the seasonal seeds, and that's not really as imperative. Oh my god, just get out of the... Yeah, that works. <laughs> I didn't know we could move the TV. Or I guess that never crossed my mind. It would probably just go straight to mining then, since it's raining. Or actually, let's see what fish we have. We should be fishing instead. Yeah, I don't think I got any of this summer rainfish. So if it's not ready tomorrow, we can probably get those frost jellies tomorrow. Bad throw. I probably still have time to drop off my axe. I forgot to grab this stuff this morning. Or debating whether or not I should save it. But just, let's just do it now. Because <clears throat> I think most of the rainfish for the ocean don't come out till night. I usually will do oh I don't know what's up with my voice but like I'll purposely set aside stuff in my inventory that I know I need the next day the night before kind of what I do are like I'll pre-set aside my outfit for the next day sometimes
Okay. I right, don't gotta worry about that for now. Oh, man. No shot.
I'm just gonna sell all my higher quality fish for now. I'm not sure which ones I have. Back at home. Afternoon, Vargas or Steve. Uh, this is Stardew Valley. It's a <clears throat> like a chill RPG, basically like a farming sim. It's really relaxing to play. It's like you farm, you you mine, you fish, make money, build up your farm. This is more my type of game. Cause like this is my stream save, but like I have two pr other personal saves. One of them I have like 180 hours in, and the other one that I started a couple weeks ago I have like 40 hours in I think. I thought that was you making those sounds, not uh, not dude. <laughs> I like to have the game audio a bit higher in this one, cause like I just like the sound design. It's really nice. It's really nice to listen to this game with headsets on. Because, like, all the different, like, hues and sounds are, like, super satisfying. Almost ASMR-like. But, like, I could play this game for hours. Like, when I first started playing it last year, um... I would play it for like three hours after I get home from work. So like I'd get home mm -hmm. at like eight or nine and then I'd play it till like 11 or midnight. It was bad. Are you done with Super Mario Odyssey? No. <laughs> no shot. I think we finished yesterday off with a total of, I think like 360 moons. So Odyssey Run is probably gonna be another week. I just don't like to play it every day. Because low-key, I, I get frustrated with it. Because, like, I know I can do it. It's just, like, I'm not, like, good enough yet with controls. <clears throat> so, like, current schedule is Odyssey, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Stardew Valley, Thursday. And then I'm probably switching up Mario Kart for a different game tomorrow. I'm still, de I'm still deciding that right now. Because I played a different, like, RPG off-stream yesterday that I really liked. That I think would be, like, another chill game for stream. I hear you, yeah. I was getting like kind of tilted yesterday. There was like two, because I went into Metro yesterday and there was two like hidden stages that I could not do. Like it was the one with the moped. That one like made me upset. And then I can't remember what the other one was. <clears throat> but yeah, I was just like, I can't, I could not do it every day. <laughs> yeah, it's 7.20, we have about two hours left of fishing. I think it's eels during summer that come out, during nighttime. <clears throat> I'm gonna dedicate Mondays to Odyssey, nice. What other games are you playing, like, on and off stream? What is this game for? Um, <laughs> deep question, man. <laughs> I don't know. I, it's it's re very repetitive commands. So it's very easy to play. It's more about like gauging how to spend your time. Oh, well, console? Okay, okay, okay. This is on Switch. <laughs> you can play it on desktop too, but I prefer um, Switch mainly because like if I play a game on my PC, like my stream will crash probably. Because she can only handle so much. And also, like, I like the feel of the controller in my hand. Yeah, 
Yeah, I have a PlayStation, but I don't play it much because it's in my sister's room. <clears throat> Loki still want to play Tsushima on stream, but like I'd have to play it on like the easy bitch mode because like I can <laughs> some, I can't even beat some of the like the bosses in easy mode. So like no shot, I'm gonna do like regular difficulty for it. <clears throat> you started Metroid yesterday. Nice. I want to get that game too. I'm doing Mario 2 Lost Levels tonight. Nice. Yeah, I really want to try the new Metroid. But, like, I'm so scared to, like, try new platformers because, like, I low-key suck. I'm sure you know. Like, I suck at video games. Like, I didn't grow up playing them too much. <clears throat> so, like, I don't, ha <laughs> I don't have that internal aimbot that, like, children have. Like, I told myself I'd get the new Metroid if my sister wanted it, but then she's like, I don't want it anymore, and it's like... It's like, I can kind of justify game if we're both gonna play it, because we share the console. But otherwise, if I get it and I suck at it, it's like, I just wasted, like, 50, 60 bucks. And it's like, was it really worth it? <clears throat> I've seen a couple playthroughs of the Metroid, and it looks fun. Like, the controls look really fun. Combat looks fun. So you got the flounder in there. Summer snapper. You have two halibut already. You got two tunas. I didn't get any of the rainfish today. That sucks. RNG was bad today. <clears throat> okay, so I think for the next few days we're going to focus on mining. That way we can get, can get the ores ready for right for um sprinklers for fall time i can't remember what unlocks the higher quality sprinklers i think it's just like farming leveling up your farming skill i think it is is this a new game not no not really i at least like heard of it heard of it Oh, frick. I remember the first time I heard about this game. I think Markiplier played it. Let's see when that video came out. Because I think he played it when, like, it first came out. I'm actually curious. Because I remember I watched him play it. I was like, oh, that looks fun. But then, like, I never played it. Oh, my God. <laughs> the first time he played that game came out five years ago. So, I the game is at least five years old. There we go. I didn't realize this. This was, this was made by a... Ind independent developer in a town near me in Washington, which is kind of cool. Washington State. I know you're not from the States. That's why I like a lot of, like, indie type games. Like, aesthetically, not as, like, ambitious as like a traditional like 3D game. Like, a lot more dependent on story and then art style. Individual mechanics. Like, I appreciate, like, indie or small development team games a lot more. I think the nice thing is the thought that, like, oh, if that person can do it, then maybe I can do that one day, too, someday. I'd like to try more indie games, too. Yeah, try not, like... I'm not sure if the kid would like him, <laughs> but like, a lot of them are a lot more chill. Like, games to help you wind down. Like, I've never played shooters, because like, one of those are too like, high intensity, and also like, I don't have enough skill. <clears throat> but yeah. Gotta run, school's out and the kiddos are waiting. Yeah, well I appreciate you coming in, man. Get to see a new game. You have a good one. Have fun with the kiddos. Okay, so... I don't really see the benefit to growing hops because you can only really make ale with them. And I don't think ale is as good of an as good of an investment as like pickling stuff. 
thanks peace yeah you have a great day man um so like i will only grow the hops oh, why did i go this way i took the long route anyway i will only really grow hops just so i can um do the ale mission for pam otherwise like i will never grow them again I hate the plants that grow in trellises mainly because like it blocks the path and it irritates me. I don't have a lot of heels. I have five potatoes. <clears throat> like usually year one, I'll just make sure I have grown at least one of everything and then have at least one of everything in storage. And then year two, like I'll just grow crops. That fit in the timelines. I'm debating whether or not to get a new sword yet. So now it'll like make this all easier. This is only doing like max, max 20 damage. Yeah, it's gonna suck for like levels like this. Yeah, I really need a better sword at this point. I wonder when the... The Lava Katana unlocks. Because I kind of just want to save up for that. Like, I don't really mind spamming. Like, it's not ideal. But, like, I really need to be saving my money right now.
I'm annoyed. Sorry. I, I assume it didn't pick it up because I have like headsets in right now for my phone. Like I have my phone on silent, but like the ringtone still went off in my headset. And it's like, Nani? Like why? Because like I disabled everything in the settings. Like whenever I get a new device, like I'll like thoroughly comb through every single setting option I can. Like, I disabled, like, drop-down notifications or pop-ups because, like, I did that recently once I started, like, streaming. Because, like, I'm so scared of leaking anything. Mainly because, like, when you have, like, pop-up notifications, it'll, like, hide the content, but it'll show, like, the email address, for example. And, like, I don't want my, like, personal or my school email to get leaked accidentally. I mean, granted, like, my, my camera... Like, the capture card, the quality isn't as high, so, like, it's kind of hard to tell. Like, I was thinking about it, like, I could probably show something and probably wouldn't, like, legible. Because, like, the only way to, like, update footage to, like, make it clearer is ideally you have to shoot in raw. Like, raw film. It's, like, similar to, like, a vector image where, like, it can be stretched an increase in size to any, like, resolution. That's why, like, some films are, like, remastered. Even if they are filmed, like, 60 years ago, since it was filmed in RAW. RAW is just, like, a file type. That's what it is. It can be, like, the resolution can always be increased. And then export it as, like, a different type of video file. Like, I would buy another, because the best, like, camera capture I've used so far has been with my Elgato. But I use that for game capture, so, like, anytime I have, like, a no game stream, I'll use, like, the, uh, the Elgato to capture my camera, and it looks a lot better. Like, resolution is a lot higher. So, like, I would buy another Elgato. It's just like, I can afford to drop a hundred right now, but like, I really shouldn't. Cause like, if I buy that now, then I won't be able to buy like Christmas presents this year. So, maybe after Christmas. Time to get out of here. Oh, what we get? <gasps> Better sword, nice oyster oh, dagger. Frick that. We hate that. Let's go see what swords we have unlocked. How much damage does this one do? It's actually buy oh, we can't buy this one.
I never use daggers, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. Like, I don't care. Like, I, I've played this game too many times to so where it's like, I literally don't need it. Like, I thought the sword would be more expensive, but it's only 4,000, so that's like nothing. I mean, not nothing, but like, it's affordable right now. Because they're only really saving money for upgrading tools, which you're not going to be able to get anyway, because we need to get further in the mines to get gold. And then just saving money for fall time. Go ahead and bring these with me. That way I can sell them. We go mining tomorrow. So tomorrow, watering in the mining, so I think we're good to go. Okay. So, all the rents say to go for geologist. I wish, I'm going to go with geologist still, because like gems are money. Plus one ore. That's not really important or as important in end game. Cause like it's fairly easy to get ores when you have better tools. I just wish I'm gonna go ahead and go with geologist this time again. Cause like a lot of the end game goals rely on money. Yeah, so the only thing we should really focus on now is just getting ore. That way you can have enough sprinklers set up all time. Adventurous guilds. Oh, two o'clock. That's fine. I'm gonna wait to pick up my axe. I really don't need to know. I'm gonna wait to get it till I have to go to town.
Okay, I have to remember I, I cannot be spamming with the sword all the time. Speed is not as high with this one. Forgot to grab our heels before I left home. I mean, it's fine. We'll just do as much as we can. And why are they running away?
Can I even eat anything? Yeah, I can't eat anything. Um, Come on. There we go. Oh, a sturgeon. Nice. I don't think we've gotten one yet. We don't really need the scythe, now that I think about it. Put a sturgeon. Already got two chubs. Hmm. 
Okay, so we only really need more copper. Okay. I don't want to see what the skills are. Next, I believe. Better ones, the better um, sprinklers unlock when you increase your farming. I think when we have everything cleared out, I want to put my barns up top here. And then um, fields down below. Oh, I need food.
20 to 30. It's for speed. Let's go ahead and swap these out real quick and see how they feel. Oh, this one I can spam. Okay, we love that. I'm not gonna get out of here by 10. Sucks. Let's get out of here. Why are these in here? Yeah, so we really just need more iron ores for now. So I think for the upgraded sprinklers, it's um, iron, gold, bar, and then refined quartz. Thank you. 
Get back to mining. Hey, got it. Hope you're doing well today, Anna. Doing good. It's been a pretty chill day so far. Nothing too crazy yet. Funny story. <laughs> there was a there was a homicide near like my residence like me within a mile within a mile right and i know right scary um someone someone was just shot which isn't common in our town because like our police force is like about a hundred so like everyone's kind of shaken up and it was like near my bike route and i was like no shot i'm not going biking today because it was in a residential area, and like the bike trail is kind of in a wooded area, and in my head I'm like, if the guy ran away from like the scene, he's probably hiding in the forest somewhere. So no shot, I'm not going biking. <laughs> so that was yesterday, and then I went out today, and what? Because it's a paved trail, um, and it's wide enough for like a vehicle to go down. So like I was biking. And usually, like, on Mondays, that's when they do trash. So that's when you'll see, like, a city vehicle, like, on the trail, like, taking out the trash. But today is Thursday, right? And there's a vehicle on the trail. And I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. Because usually, like, you only see, like, park vehicles or police vehicles if, like, something happened, right? So, like, I just biked extra fast. Because <laughs> so I was like, something's going on. Like, I don't want to be here. It's so sketchy, yeah. Kind of sus. That's my funny story of the day. <laughs> okay. 
got some better boots. Not as cute as the Uggs, but you know, it's fight. Fight. Ite. <laughs> Battling intensifies. I know, for real. And like, my bike is kind of shit, too. Like, because I've crashed it a few times, so like, the gears are kind of like crooked. Like, I gotta have my dad adjust, like, the brakes and stuff, because, like, when I brake, it doesn't stop immediately. And also, like, whenever I pedal, it feels like it's kind of, like, tugging me back, almost. So. Yeah. <laughs> I would get a new bike, but it's like, I'm good for now. Like, I was buying... Because every year for my friends, I'll buy them, like, snacks from OMG Japan. Like, just, like, Japanese snacks. Like, Pocky, Kit Kats and shit. And me and my sister, we usually will go halvesies on it. Like, we bought... <laughs> we... <laughs> we bought, like, $300 worth of snacks for me, her, and our friends. Shipping? No... No cap was a hundred and twenty-five dollars. I'm not sure if it was like international, or maybe it's because it was like a large order. But shipping was a hundred and twenty-five dollars. So we were just like, oh, "Fuck!" But like, we getting some good shit for snacks. Yeah, it's from it's from Japan. So like, I because usually like international shipping is like whack, right? Usually hell expensive. But like we bought a lot of shit, like there was like sixty different things in our cart, and like average price for everything was four dollars. So like kinda makes sense. But still we were both like, ah, this is a lot. <laughs> Cause like there's different flavors of Kit Kats like throughout the season. Like the ones that they had mango flavored ones, which I'm excited to try. There was pudding flavored, like vanilla pudding. That one sounds good. Because like we we're buying not not just for the two of us, for real, but for like a couple of our other friends. So like we'd be getting like three or four packs of everything. So it's like that's why like the ticket was so much. But you know it's fine. Everyone loved it last year, so I still have like a few Kit Kats from last Christmas. But, like, they weren't as good as I thought they'd be. Like, I still have a pack of, like, cheesecake flavored ones. And apparently, on the package, you're supposed to, um, like, kind of broil the top with, like, a little torch. And it kind of caramelizes, which I tried, but it didn't work, and I was disappointed. But if you ever get the chance, definitely try some Japanese Kit Kats. They are S tier. Word E. Also, I just want to say sorry since you're here, Yana. I missed your stream the other night. I don't know what time you started, but like I knocked out at like 8 o'clock that day. And I woke up to the notification, I was like, frick! <laughs> I was like, dang it. Feels bad, man. It was like, my sleep schedule is either like, I knock out at 8, or I stay up till 2. No difference. One of the two. No need to be sorry, sorry for you. Like, yeah, but I still feel bad. The title looked good too. I was like, I missed a good one. I was like, she's baiting being high. That's gotta be good content.
I kind of want to try to get at least to level 85. Because we're already at 83 at this time. My only concern is running out of food. <laughs> okay. We can throw this away because I already have one already. Don't really need the bone frag fragments. They're pretty useless, basically. Oh, I need hardwood. I need to upgrade my inventory. Like this, this sucks throwing stuff away. Don't really need mix seeds. Nah, bro, it was actually cringe. I picked up a viewer, also streamer, to play, and he was creeping them out of where he's a oof, oof. Just ban him. I mean, like. Oh, you played with them? Oh, frick. Oh, frick. Ah, uh, that, that's awkward, because then it's like, how do you leave the call? Uh, that's what I'm so worried about, like... That's why, like, I don't really want to play with viewers yet, because, like, you can't really vent them. Um, like, sometimes you're, like, vibes are off and you don't want to be, like, weird about it, you know? That's why, like, I'm also hesitant to, like, if I ever get to a point of, like, having, like, a larger audience. Like, getting sniped and stuff, or, like, having, like, weird people come in. I was like, yo, he's made excuses to say the word. Okay, bad guy, bad guy. If you have to, like, defend yourself, like using certain words or like acting a certain way that's not appropriate then it's like this person is not gonna learn they're not gonna change and it's like i definitely had to like either cut people off or like try and like educate them on like certain things and what it comes down to is like perspective they're not willing to listen to you or like not willing to like change or like understand why something is not okay to do or say, then it's like, if you're not gonna listen to me, then I don't know what's, what it's gonna take, you know what I mean? Oh! Okay. Let's get out of here. Even my chat's vibes were kind of off. I should have listened to my gut. Well, now we know. Now we know. See, I should have been there. I would have, like, clapped him. <laughs> Bod me. I'll ban people, dude. <laughs> um. If you want me, I'll mod you. You know? Little eye for an eye. It, yeah. It, it's, it's tricky because, like, especially now, like, I've watched a few videos on, like, what to do on Twitch. If you want to grow, and it's like, the guy's one advice was like, don't be afraid to ban people. Because he was like, you know, if they're not going to have good vibes from the start, then they're not ever going to really have them. Like, it's not really worth it. What I have in here. Oh, I can make more copper. Uh, uh, no, I need more iron now. We're ready for tomorrow. The 17th, so about a week and a half left. <laughs> so I don't pick up anybody, but I was feeling social that night. Of course, the one time. The one time. You like trying. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Hopefully next time will be better. Okay. So right here. Fighter or scout? I think it's better. Because like I'm a spammer. 
Like, I'd rather stuff do more damage than, like, critical strikes. Because, like, critical strikes doesn't really matter. Great hit hits need luck. Can you build luck? Kind of. You like. Actually, let's see. You can have like certain like rings to add luck, but you only have two slots. So right now I have a ring. Actually, let's look. Where is it? Oh, right here. This one increases like emits light. So like sometimes, um, when you go in caves, there's no like lights, so you need to have like a ring light. And then increases the radius of collecting your items. I really like this one because like this stuff drops. You usually don't have to like stand right on it. It's really helpful for like if you're trying to go fast. Then you don't have to worry about like leaving items behind. So like the I think the rings are the only way to build luck. There's one like secret item you can get. But that's only after you complete the main story of the community center. You can unlock that lucky item. But yeah, critical strikes increase with your luck. Yeah, def take the 10%. Yeah, I did already. It's too late, but yeah. Like, I'm basically making all the same, like, scale upgrade decisions as I did in my previous games. So the only one they changed was just... I think I made like 30 minutes ago where it just like increased how many like how much wood trees drop because like trees take longer to grow than anything else in the game and they don't grow during winter so you can't really like harvest any wood during winter like stone is basically an infinite resource because the mines re like not restock, but like everything respawns at the end of the day. <sighs> Have you been biking, Moriana? Like practicing some more? Because music is great. Yeah, I love it, man. It's so nice to listen with, like, headsets. Like, whenever I play on my own, I have headsets in. Oh yeah, it's 10,000 for gold tools and I think 25,000 for iridium tools. We just have to grind up enough gold. Then probably fish the rest of the season when we have enough ores for sprinklers and then tools. Have a sesh today. Nice! I like to ride a few hours before sunset. Okay. Is it because like it's cooler? Cause I know it gets pretty warm down there. Oh frick. <clears throat> yeah, I don't like to wind down before I leave the park. Gotcha. I would bike in the evening here, but like it gets dark at like six and that's kind of scary. And also like it's cold now. Like, I was choosing to bike at, like, in the afternoon. But then it's, like, it's still cold. Almost just as cold as it is in the morning, though. So. And, like, I also hated how, like, there's so much more vehicles out. Because, like, when I bike to, like, the trail, I bike on the sidewalk. Like, I would never bike on the road. Because, like, I I'm just so scared that I get clipped by someone. Like, even... 
Oh my god, I was heading to the trail and it's near a railroad track, right? And like, I was crossing like the main four lane road. Wrong item, wrong item. <laughs> and like, as I go through the crosswalk, so like, there's a new tool on like Twitch Studio to like draw on the screen, but I don't want to do that because I don't have my tablet set up. But like, there's a railroad track, right? And then I was crossing this way, and there's a car coming here to turn right to cross the tracks. Like, they get- I'm crossing the- I should pause. <laughs> I'm crossing the street on my bike, and the car doesn't see me, almost hits me in the crosswalk. So I stop, I'm like, hey, what you doing? I didn't say anything, but you know, because I don't want to get shot. But, <laughs> but, like, I stop. They let me pass, right? And then they keep going. As, like, as I'm crossing the railroad track, like, the goes ding ding ding, so, like, the, the panels come down. And the guy turns right to cross the tracks, right as, like, the bars are almost down. Like, obviously, this person's in a bad mood, or they're in a rush. <laughs> so it's like, it almost hit a pedestrian, and then tried to, like, <laughs> cut off the train, too. Like, dumbass. Get shot, Lamel. Love in, love in America. I know, right? I know, right? <laughs> I'm so scared of that. Like, honestly, like, people who road rage, that's... I am so scared. Because, like... There is some statistic where it's, like... For every person, there's, like, 1.2 guns. So, theoretically, there's, like, millions and millions of guns... Not owned by every person, but just like in general. So it's like there's gotta be a hell of people who have just like a thousand guns, right? But it's like <clears throat> not to get fun of home, but like I'm just like, how about just no guns? We don't need them. Like it's kinda like how like swords are illegal or you have to have like certain paperwork to have it. Like how many like <clears throat> murders are there by katanas? Like, none. Mainly because, like, there's not many katanas in circulation. So, theoretically, <laughs> by the transitive property, if there were less guns in the general population, theoretically, there'd be less gun deaths. <gasps> I mean, it's seen in countries who have stricter gun, gun laws and shit. I don't know, that's just my take. No guns would be catastrophically cat catastrophe waiting to happen, but yes, I think less nuts need to have guns. Yeah. Uh I I don't know. Because like if we look at the constitution, right? The whole reason why you have the right to bear arms was if there was militias, right? Because the reason why that clause is written so if like the British took America back, they could just make a militia because everyone had a gun or a musket, right? But like, they did not have AR-15s. They did not have things that could like, kill lots of people. So... The military has enough guns. So like, going with like the... The original interpretation of that clause, it's like, there's no need for like, a militia. The only people who need militias, or want a militia, are like the insurrectionists. Let's be real. Like, I think if you want a gun, that's fine. Keep it at home, though. Like, I don't think open carry should be a thing. Like, I don't think you should have it in your car. Like, when are you really gonna use it? I don't know. It's It's tricky. It's tricky. This is why I can never be in, like, Parliament. I would not be able to, like, hold myself to those decisions, I guess. I think it's also because, like, we don't have any guns in our household, too. So that's just, like, how my parents, like, raised me. With those, I guess, opinions. Also, I've never shot a gun. And I've heard a lot of stories be like, oh, once you shoot one, you'll change your mind. And it's like, okay. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, okay. No, I don't want to do this. Ugh. Hate these stages. I don't really believe that. Once you shoot, you'll change your mind. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> I think the argument is mainly geared towards people who are against like recreational use of guns. Like, I think recreation is fine. Because like recreation means fun. Right? Or like people who use it for hunting. That's different. Like you're not killing people in those circumstances, right? Like, I think recreational use is fine. Like the people... I've had debates <laughs> with a few friends, and they're like, you know, I just like to go to the gun range and shoot. It's like, well, then do you really need to own one? Then you can just like rent one there, or just like pay for an hour to use it. Like, then you don't need to take it home. And they're like, okay, that's a valid point. Um, BS going shooting is mad fun. <laughs> okay. I'm not saying that I will try it one day, but like, it, it would take a lot of convincing. To get me to go. Like, just to be for real. <clears throat> Is there, like, a minimum age you have to be if you go to a shooting range? Like, can you let a little five-year-old go? Or do you have to be, like, 13 or something? Because, like, you hear stories of, like, Midwestern kids being like, My daddy taught me how to shoot when I was four. You know, shit like that. But then most of the people who like learn how to use like weapons when they're younger know how to use them properly. So like I kind of get that. Not sure actually. I'm pretty sure there's an age when you can go, but parent guardian must be around. Makes sense, makes sense. <laughs> oh we got a better sword. Let's see. Oh, 26 to 42? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Let's go ahead and try this sword out first. I think... Because, <laughs> like, you know how, like, middle-aged women are like, Ooh, I have a craft room. That's my hobby. And, like, a lot of men are like, I have guns. That's my hobby. You know? I, I think that's what it is. It's, like, part of your character. Or, like, your identity, maybe. Oh, I should have sold my weapons. I always forget. I agree, some people have passions for things we just don't understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think. I don't think I have, like, any weird hobbies. Like, I'd have to say, like, the weirdest would be, like... <sighs> mm. Nothing too weird, just, like, collecting stuff. I'm trying to think of, like, if I collected anything weird. Let's see, I gotta think about that for a bit. I collected crystals up until I was like 14. Like I used to be a crystal mommy. <laughs> but that was mainly cause like my mom liked crystals and shit too.
Like, she had crystal healing books, so, like, she actually believed that shit. I just like the crystals because they are pretty. Pulp or no pulp. This is actually, um, what the fuck is it called? Like, you know, like, bubble tea powder? It's just, like, fruit cream powder. But orange juice? Definite extra pulp. I like extra pulp. I'm one of those weirdos. Pulp is bomb. I know, right? It's kind of like... Orange juice is pulp. I kind of think of it like a smoothie. I'm like, ooh, it's got little, little bits in it, you know? The only thing I don't like is that it's usually more expensive, so we never get pulp milk. Milk. <laughs> Pulpy orange juice. So that's kind of sad. Okay, so today is raining, so we can probably go pick up our axe and then fish in the river today. Actually, bring our hoe. It might be little squigglies. Oh, I forgot it doesn't open. I didn't bring my fucking fishing rod. I wasted an hour. It takes so long to walk in this game. It is annoying. I, I was gonna say the stupid game, but that's not nice. I love this game. I'm not gonna say it's stupid. That's mean. I'm not, <laughs> not gonna be like Yana and like talk shit all the time. I love this game. <clears throat> Get my fishing rod. <sighs> Actually get more bars started while we're here. We got 18 and 23, so we have enough for... A lot of sprinklers. Uh, okay, so let's see if there's there's probably some seeds that will grow in time by the end of season because we have nine days. So I think all oh, but we're fishing today. Okay, so tomorrow I'll probably get sprinklers set up and then plant some seeds that will harvest in time by the end of season. <laughs> Go ahead, it's okay to trash the games you love. But I, I, like, love this game. I can't. I just wish there was, like, DLC. I think that'd be cool. I assume there was more updates, because this game is, like, more than five years old. Yeah, I'll just plant hella radishes. Oh, all my money's gone. All my money.
He has ten grand. Okay. I think we have enough what you call it ores for our sprinklers. So you can probably start focusing on once we get up with gold ores. Focus on just fishing for now. That way you can grab up money to save up for coops and animals. Trash. Why is so much trash? I wish I could make like good sushi at home. Like I bet I could. But then it's like sushi is only good when it's like fresh fresh. So like making stuff in small batches isn't like as cost effective. Like <laughs> if I'm ever like richy rich, maybe my sister were like we need to have like a personal chef that'll just make us sushi all day. Like, ah, oh, that'd be so good. That'd be bomb. Think about sushi last night. I'm thinking about it right now because I'm like, I love seafood like so much, like so much. Mom hates it, so she'll never make it, or like we're not really allowed to like have it because she hates the smell. So it's like, ah. like sushi is fine. Like if we order in sushi, like. That's fine, because, like, we're not, like, cooking it. So, like, she was at work, so, like, I made, like, a salmon burger. Like, it was a frozen one, so, like, I just, like, heated it up on the stove. And then, like, I cleaned the kitchen so, like, the smell would be gone. I aired out the kitchen. She didn't notice, so, you know, it worked out. <clears throat> no narcs, okay? Like, sushi is so expensive, like, when you order out. Like, it costs nothing to make. Like, most food places, like, food costs is, like, nothing. Like, maybe 5% of the actual, like, menu price. Like, the main thing you're paying for is just, like, the people working. That's why, like, a restaurant that has, like, a significant amount of foot traffic or orders, they're making hand over fist. Oh, are you- Ayana, did, did you able- uh, how's the job hunt going? The waiting or applying to any other places? Like, I'm honestly thinking, because like my savings account is looking kind of sad right now, I'm like, I should go back to work, like I should. I've literally stopped. <laughs> Sag. Because I'm like, I could do like an online job. Because like my sister, I'm having her help me look for listings. Because like I'm still doing a school too. So it's like, if I do get a job, it's either I drop streaming or drop school. Like obviously drop streaming. Like, duh. But like if I do do an online job, like I'd want to do part time. Because I saw a couple listings for like data entry or data entry. But, like, that seems lame. But then, like, I kind of like the idea of being in, like, daily Zoom calls. That seems kind of fun. I don't know. 
But like, I do not want to do another service job. Like, I would... <laughs> no, no shot. I don't want to. Like, I'm fairly good at, like, customer service. I'm really good, actually. But it's, it's too much. I think just, like, the anxiety, like, just thinking about having to, like, work in the public again is already, like, anxiety-inducing to me. And it's like, I just don't want to even- I just don't want to think about it. And, like, my parents were, like, I was telling them, I was like, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, like, afford to pay my rent, because, like, you know, I want to have X amount, like, available in my savings, you know? And they're like, oh yeah, you just don't have to pay rent. It's like, well- you say that, but then I know you're gonna like renege on that. Like, didn't want nothing to do with that. <laughs> yeah, so service jobs suck ass. Yeah, but like my dad was like, yeah, you don't have to worry about paying rent. You can just pay back later. But I was like, yeah, I can pay it back later. Like, that's not cool either because like if I don't pay my share, then you guys gotta make it up somewhere. And it's like, I know if. They say it's fine. It's gonna be used as like against me in like an argument at a later point or something like that. I know it will. Like I know them. Like I'm not dumb. Like I have enough still for like former months. So like but that's if I like spend basically all my savings on like my share of rent and stuff. So like ideally I need to pop off in two months. <laughs> Or get a job in three. <laughs> so. Uh, it'll be okay, it'll be okay. Like, I'm sure if I apply to, like, a Walmart, they'll gladly take me. I don't know. Y'all, we need those followers. We need those subs. I can't wait to, like... <laughs> have, like, affiliate that way I can just, like, ironically but, like, unironically farm subs. I think that's, like, so funny. Like, I really like, like, fake infomercial type content or, like, media. Like, parody. I think, like, faking a sellout, I think that bit is always, like, funny. I don't know. That's just, that's just my preference. I know people don't like when like creators are like fishing too much but i think i think it's funny cuz like the whole sentiment where it's like we made you but it's like well yeah if no one was watching then i wouldn't be doing or they wouldn't be doing the content right so as long as people keep watching then they're going to keep making <clears throat> When you practice your biking, do you practice by yourself or with someone else? Do you have like, not a trainer per se, but like a fellow biker? I got all the rain river fish for now. By yourself? Okay. Are you wearing a helmet? Especially if you're by yourself. Like, if you knock out, you're dead. <laughs> That's not funny. That's funny. That's not funny. I'm sorry. Wear a helmet, dude. Wear a helmet or I'll ban you. I'll do it. Why are you laughing? Because I don't know. Dark humor is funny. Okay, when was the last time you crashed? Or like, fell off your bike? No, 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 what you need to do is bring a helmet, but don't wear it. Like, keep it on the handlebars. That's what you need to do. 
That way, if a cop comes up, be like, hey, I got my helmet. Put it on, and when they leave, just take it off. That's what you gotta do. <laughs> Wear the helmet not for your safety, but not to get ticketed. There we go. I just wish helmets looked cool. I don't know. So long ago. I really don't be crashing like that. Well, that's good. That's good. Props to you. Last time I crashed was maybe... Like, six months ago? But that was when I was biking to work every day, so, like, my likelihood of crashing was one in three. Or no, one in two, because I'd bike to work and then bike home. Kind of like, if you're in a car, you're more likely to get in an accident the more you're in a car like that, I guess. But last time I rode without a helmet was last month? Because, like, my dad was like, hey, test out. This is when he fixed it. So, like, he's like, hey, test it out. He's like, ride it real quick. I'm like, okay. Like, I just rode it around the street without a helmet on. And it felt so nice. Like, just the wind in my hair. Like, it felt nice. But then I was like, I can't be doing this. I was like, if I just, I'm going to die. Like, I've debated whether or not I should wear, like, wrist pads or, like, brace. Not wrist braces. But, um... Cause like anytime I fall, I'm like my hands get all fucked up, like all scratched up and shit. Cause like when I was, cause I didn't ride my bike till I was like twelve. Uh, so like I wore like helmet, elbow pads, knee pads, and like the wrist pads, wrist pods. I don't know what they're called. Like I look like such a dweeb, but like you know I didn't get scratched up as much, so that was cool. If I were doing street BMX, we're Getting airs involved, then I would wear a helmet. Okay, makes sense. Well, yeah, because, like, <laughs> at that rate, you're, like, you're falling from, like, five feet in the air versus just, like, tilting over. Okay, okay. Okay, so we got lots of iron bars. Let's go ahead and make a couple coppers. We got lots of tasty fish today. <clears throat> I need to rearrange my tools because it's bothering me. No, wrong, wrong crate. In my other game, the fish are on that left side. That throws me off. Okay, yeah, I did get all the rain river fish for this season. The next time it rains, I gotta be in the ocean. Okay, so we're about 220. Ooh, quality sprinklers! Yes! Uh, into the stream. So I may, might go for like 30, 40 more minutes. Or maybe another hour. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, treasure is stupid. We're gonna get more money from fish. Because like, treasure is only... It's stupid. I don't like it. Because like, it's only really good if you're trying to like get your artifacts done. For the museum, but otherwise it's like dumb. It is D O M. Oh, he needs a melon. Okay. <clears throat> so. For the high quality sprinklers, I believe. Right here, right here. Yes, it is an iron, gold, and then refined bar. So 
let's go ahead and get those refined bars started. We can start planning out the fields for this bottom area to get ready for fall. I guess the quartz takes a bit longer than I anticipated. Yeah, we still... Mm. Okay, let's actually get some of these plants. I can't do it there. I like to leave at least a border here. That way you can place honeycomb. Oh, we can't plant there. Okay. You can plant the beehives and then a couple scarecrows along the border. I usually don't focus on beehives until year two. Oh, this is perfect to set up. Oh, yes, this is perfect. So, if it's two rows, I need coal. Brick. I get these plants in here. Okay, so now that those are ready, that way by the time we get back, those will be done. Probably just fish the rest of the day. I think I want to go for ocean fish again. I didn't get any of the rain fish the other day. Which sucks. Honestly sucks. gonna top off with some bait over here because I always forget to check how much I have because like it costs barely nothing like oh see I, I literally only had two left only two left <clears throat> I kind of want to save for the ivory rod because then you're less likely to get trash and seaweed and stuff. I 
Have you ever been fishing IRL? No. I haven't really been offered. No, scratch that. No, I haven't been offered, no. It seems boring. Me neither. <laughs> Do you want to go? Because, like, I like doing things that have, like, a return, I guess. So, like, if I'm gonna do, like, two hours or something, like, I either want to have fun or, like, get something out of it. Yeah, just for one time, because you're right, this seemed boring. <laughs> I, I would try it out, but, like, I don't think that'd be- that wouldn't be my hobby. <laughs> Like, I wouldn't be dropping 200 bucks on a nice fishing rod. I was gonna say, I like cheap hobbies, but then it's like crafting is not cheap. Like, buying all the art shit, not cheap. Like, wouldn't it be interesting if there was, like, you know how there's, like, golf courses, like, the contained ones where it just, like, keeps spitting out golf balls and you just keep hitting? Like, what if there was, like, a facility where, like, fish just came up all the time? Like, you just catch a fish every ten minutes. That'd be cool. But then it's, like, is that really, not humane, but, like, that's probably really traumatizing for the fish. Like... It's kind of like, I guess the equivalent would be like us being ripped out into space, like, they can't breathe in the air, you know? It, I was gonna say, I don't really get the point of fishing just for fun to put it back. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Like, is that a fun? Like, sitting for hours to, like, catch two fish just to put them back? Like, is that fun? Maybe it's because I've never fished. Maybe, like, once I do it, I'll be hooked. Ah, I'll be hooked. Got him. <laughs> Comedy. Nice one. Yeah, I didn't even try. That one just came out. Oh, we got 12 gold. Nice. I think something I want to try is rock climbing. Like, that seems mm -hmm. fun. Mm -hmm. Indoor rock climbing. I do not want to do real rock climbing. Because <laughs> that seems too scary. Because, like, I think that would be, like, one, fun to do and also, like, good exercise because... I don't do any, like, workouts, per se. Like, I only bike. Because, like, doing, like, ab shit, like, kills me. I know I need to, to, like, get rid of the tummy. But, like... I think I have, like, arrhythmia, like, honestly. Because, like, sometimes I get, like, flutters in my chest. But then I looked it up, and they're like, oh, it's anxiety. And it's like, oh. It seems like everything is anxiety. But, like... Mm -hmm. And yeah, working out, like... It doesn't wear me out, like, to the extreme, but, like, it's a lot. Like, anytime in, like, PE class, I'd be, like, dead. <laughs> yeah. I was supposed to go months ago, but never did. Oh, sad. Sad. I would... I don't... I'm indifferent, because, like, my parents are like, Oh, you can do whatever you want. Like, we don't care if we go out and shit. And it's like, okay. But then they're also like, if you get a sick, it's your fault. But then it's like, uh... Like, I'm probably going to my friend's house either this week or next week. 
and I asked my friends, like, hey, can I go? They're like, yeah, you can go. But, like, if I get sick and I die, it's your fault. It's like, oh, okay. I don't know. I know it's safe for now, but then it's also, like, it's because, like, just gaslighting, right? You always think of, like, the worst extreme. Like, when I was sick, like, three weeks ago, I think, where, like, I didn't stream for a couple of days a week. Like, I honestly think I had, like, the flu or something, because, like, it was bad. I was, like, really fatigued. Is like, the worst I ever felt. But I don't know. I'm probably still gonna go to my friend's house. <laughs> like, I got him a present and everything. It's, like... Kinda of feels bad to not go at this point. It's their birthday, mind you. Yeah, just go. <laughs> yeah. Like, I really wonder if they're gonna put restrictions on travel this year. Like, I honestly think they won't. Because I imagine people are gonna get extra pissed if they do. Like, we don't travel anyway. Because, like, all our family's in Hawaii, so, like, it doesn't really affect us. Like, I don't know. Oh, they will? I... I'm fine with travel, but like, I just think better contact tracing measures should be in place. Like how if you go to like Alaska, because one of my friends, her dad had a business trip there. And like when he got there, he had to like download an app and then it had like a QR code. So like, he had to scan the QR code whenever into any building he went into. That way like, Places you went to were being tracked, so, like, if there was, like, a case in that establishment, you get a notification. Or, like, if you, yourself, like, tested positive, then it'd notify all the places you went to. Which I think is good. It might- Oh, my privacy. Ooh, well, like, if it works, it works. You know? And I think that's a lot better than having, like, increased police presence. Yeah, it seems kind of sketch. Yeah. Because I think her- he was there for a month or two, I think. But... No, I don't know. It makes sense in, like, Alaska and Hawaii, because, like, those are isolated. It's police presence, basically. <sighs> I mean, it's better than those robodogs, you know? Because, like, let's be real, your phone tracks everything you do anyway. Like, Google, like, Apple, they know where you're at, what you're looking at, so, like, America is already in a surveillance state already. Like, I can't remember which country it is, but like, they recently launched some of like the robotic police dogs. And everyone's like, oh, this this is the end. But it's like not. All it is is a robot with a camera. Like, there's cameras everywhere anyway. It's just like, what's another camera? How about you just don't do bad things and then you're good? You know? I think that's horrible. Yeah, it, uh, everything is bad. Like, it's either, okay. <laughs> it's either people want a surve a, high, a heightened surveillance state or like anarchy. Like, what, what do we want? What do we want? I'm indifferent about, like, a surveillance state concerning, like, cameras. Because, like, that was only heightened after, um, 2001, the 9-11 attacks, right? That's when, like, the government gave themselves the authority to, like, monitor, like, your internet presence, your phone calls, that type of shit, cameras. So, like, what was I gonna say? 
I had a point. I had a point. I had it. I forgot what I was going to say. But, like... You're being tracked anyway. Like, let's be honest. Autonomy is not really achievable in this, like, this universe. Right? Like, I think it'd be more of a concern if we were in, a, like, a less surveillance state where, like, there wasn't a camera on every corner. But like I said earlier, what's just one more camera, you know? <laughs> uh, that's just my opinion. I mean, it's also, like, I don't care. You read them all, it's okay. Not a single person who became human was a free person because all those bots walking around. Even though it's a video game, but I thought about that the other day. Huh. So then what is freedom? What is freedom? Is freedom, like, in that terms of, like, being able to, like, express yourself or conduct yourself in any manner you please? Or, like, is it just, like, the feeling of being monitored and watched? That's not cool. Like, are you the type to, like, put a tape over your laptop computer- or the laptop camera? Because, like, I used to do that, but then I was like, it don't matter. Yeah, of course. <laughs> You're like, I don't want no FBI man watching me. I used to do that, but then it's like... I mean, like, I'm not sitting here in front of my computer, like, naked or anything. I don't do that. You know, because that, that's sus. <clears throat> but, like, I kind of get it. Like, my sister is super paranoid. Like, she doesn't even use her front phone camera at all. Like, she has that taped over. She's worried about it. Not even FBI, really. Hackers, too. Oh, yeah. Hackers, you're right. People with ring doorbells get intruded on all the time. Is it because they have the ring set up? Or is it just, like, they just happen to get robbed? Oh, you mean hackers. Okay, I get what you're saying. Sorry. Yeah. I don't know. It's, 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 it's tricky. It's tricky. Like, what is okay? Mm. Like, the surveillance state after 9-11 was a reactive, like, policy change, right? So then, what would be, like, a proactive policy change? Like, what can we really do? Because, like, monitoring is to prevent like, attacks from happening, right? Like, having... Like, the police dogs walk around is to prevent. Or potentially, like... Alert authorities before something happens. So, like, it's basically... Like, having just more cops walk around. So... Ah. Okay, that's a whole... That's a whole nother thing. That's... A <laughs> That's a whole nother debate. Because I think if there is an increased police presence, they shouldn't be carrying weapons. That's what I think. Like, batons are fine, but like they should not be carrying guns if there's more of them out there. The gov would love to start fac facilitating what is free speech and what it isn't. It would boiled down to them punishing people for saying things that don't fit their agenda. I think America has a lot of, like, leniency with what free speech is. Like, people who are saying they're, like, being silenced, you're really not. Like, if you were truly being silenced, like, they would disable, like, any type of communication you have. Like, just because your opinions or agenda don't align with what, like, the government 
is trying to say. Like, they're not gonna, like, cut you off entirely from the start. Like, it's not like people are getting, like, killed for saying certain things. Like, yes, it may be suppressed, but, like, you're still allowed to voice your concerns or opinions in some manner. People get killed for saying things all the time. People were getting killed in rest or pretending protests when BLM grew up. I mean, in terms of like. I, I agreed with the BLM protests. Like, I honestly did. I was like, you know, right to assemble is important, right? What was very unfortunate about the whole movement is how one person who escalates, right, they become what uh, the media focus on, right? <clears throat> so even if everyone was peaceful up to a point, all it takes is one person to escalate it, right? And then that's what people who are against that movement focused on. Which is unfortunate. Um. <clears throat> it was not right how excessive force was used in any capacity. But I think in those cases, it's kind of like, it depends on who's working that day, right? Like, you get person A who's, like, super nice, but then you just happen to have person B show up to scene and they're not that nice. And the whole thing with the police force, it comes down to improper and inconsistent training. And training that encourages the use of escalation of, like, manipulative, like, boarding like justify them doing like like car searches or using excessive force especially during that time when there was a lot of eyes of the media on them so if they can form a narrative where everyone is violent or this is what the protests actually are then you're gonna pe get the people who are less educated or who don't go to them that's all they see, that's their perception of it. Like Seattle was an interesting case. I was indifferent on the fact that the police state was not present in the city for, it was either a couple days or a week, I think it was. But then it's like, what does that really achieve? Because let's say there is an alternate scenario where the people govern themselves. Like, would everyone really have a consistent, like, means of operation? Because it will take time to get everyone trained, to get everyone... Like, on the same page about, like, how to conduct themselves with the public in terms of, like, enforcement. So, like... Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's tricky. Like, I, I think... Like, I don't understand how there's different, like... 
rules of enforcement per state. Like, Inslee, I think, banned, like, um, like, holds or chokeholds that restricted your respiratory system. Like, only a couple months ago. So then it's like, you're thinking those were allowed? Like, chokeholds were allowed? So I think... I think there should be more, like, federal regulation on, like, training and procedures. That way, like, people in one state aren't getting more abused than in other states. Like, I think there should be more federal um, policies on, like, everything. Because, like, I honestly don't like how in some states you could be making or earning less. You could be entitled to more rights than others. Like, for states who live on the um, northern and southern borders, if you are within 100 miles from the border, that's like considered a no-law zone, because that's when there's like a lot of potentially like illegal immigration, that type of shit. So there's uh, the rules. The police have a lot more, I guess, leniency on like conduct and policy. So that's why a majority of Florida is in that 100 mile like um, zone from the border. Like if you look at a map of it, like literally the whole state is considered a border. So that's why there's a lot of like whack shit going on in Florida. Um. A lot of, like, societal change needs to be done. Okay, no, that's not what I meant to say. Like, a lot of changes are gradual. So, like, the important thing is to vote locally. That way, you can get, like, local policies changed. Like, call your local officials, your representatives. Go to town hall meetings, you know. Because what ultimately it comes down to is not a lot of, not a lot of people vote. A lot of policies trying to be passed by the GOP right now, even if they say, "Oh, we're not suppressing the vote," even though they're not they're not explicitly saying, a lot of the policies indirectly affect voter turnout, right? Because let's be honest, if more younger people voted like 40 and younger, a lot of policies would be more progressive. Like policies that will promote social welfare, that type of thing. Uh, I forgot where I was going with that point. I think ultimately don't feel like your voice is unheard if people if you choose not to vote your choice but if literally everyone voted who was eligible then I believe there would be like drastic change in policy I also think the argument where people are like oh if you didn't vote then you have no no voice that's not encouraging people to vote that's only gonna like Believe, make them believe that their voice means less. But didn't, like, Trump only lose by, like, a couple hundred thousand votes? Like. I forgot what the number is, but, like, I think less than half of the eligible population actually vote in the, like, presidential or some shit like that. Up until last year, I think. It's crazy. Why do we always have, like, the deepest conversations when we play Stardew? Like, what's going on?
haven't gotten any rain fish yet. This is frustrating. Why is there lightning inside the store? <laughs> okay, so we can get the nice fishing rod now. Let's go ahead and keep the fiberglass one. There's a few missions later on where you like have to catch trash. Like anytime I get that mission, I'll just swap out for the lower quality fishing rod. Love how we just upgraded to a new rod and we got two trash. Love that. I think this is an eel. Ah! Okay, still something we don't have. A super cucumber. That's still good. I just want at least one eel that we can cook with it when we get our kitchen.
Come on, just, just give me one eel. I've been here all day. Might be Neil. What if the eels are during fall? <laughs> I think eels are during fall. I can't remember. Well, either way, we got at least one. Our super cucumber is a rain nighttime fish, I think. So we got one rainfish today. Okay, time to go home. Okay, so we got super cucumbers. Have everything else. Up. All the rest. Okay. So I think tomorrow. I'm gonna do one more game on stream, so we're probably gonna be on for another 15 to 30 minutes, depending on how long it is. We can either focus on more fishing. Oh! Or do more mining. We're gonna need more gold and coal for the rest of our sprinklers. Okay, we have 6,000. That's like just enough for seeds, I think.
Oh, something killed my hops. Of course. I mean, we don't like hops anyway, so it's fine. Oh, I'm fucking stupid. I planted them off by one row. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, we can fix it next season. We'll just have to make sure to remember to fix it. focus on mining. Head to the mines.
saved. I think we can keep going because it's still enough time. Probably won't reach a hundred. Still enough time to like look for more gold. It's seven o'clock. We might have just enough time to get to level 100.
Oh, of course, this, this is the worst stage. I don't know if we'll have enough time. We're just gonna try and speed through to get to the center. That's where all the good stuff is. Okay, at least a closer path opened up. Faster? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make it back in time. I mean, it's fine because you only lose money. Oh my gosh, our luck could not be better. Okay.
Okay, ready for tomorrow. Or not tomorrow, because we're going to end it here. Ready for next week. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and end it here for today. Um, thank you to anyone who came in. We had Raga show up earlier, and then Yana show up. Thank you. I appreciate the support. Full stream. TY, thank you. Yeah, I don't know why it started gets me talking. I think it's because, like, you just start thinking. I mean, like, if you were on a farm, you'd probably be like, just thinking away every day. I don't know. But yeah, so I'll be back again tomorrow. I might be doing a new game because Mario Kart sucks. Or I just like a Mario Kart. We don't know. We don't know. Um, if I am gonna be doing a different game, I'll change the schedule on the on my Twitch page. So yeah. So I'll be back again tomorrow. See y'all later. Bye.